Okay, to simplify this, again, the first uh, step is to figure out what makes bottom zero. And we can take the bottom and set it equal to zero and solve. If I'm trying to get x by itself, you just divide by 21. Zero divided by 21 is still just zero. You take nothing, cut it into 21 pieces, you still have nothing. You didn't, you didn't do anything. So x equals zero, which means we don't want the bottom to equal zero, so we're not allowed to plug in zero. We'll include that at the very end as a restriction. Uh, and then, so that was the first step. The second step was to factor top and bottom. In this case, I can't do anything to the bottom. So I will factor the top, 14x cubed plus 7x squared. Yeah, I can take 7x squared out. And that's as big as I can go. 2x, ah, plus 1. Right, 14 divided by 7 is 2. x cubed divided by x squared. You subtract the exponents, you get... 2x to the 1. So, factored the top, I will replace the bottom down there. So I've factored, third step, cancel or reduce. Um, ah, just to make it super clear, Maybe I'll write it like this. So one of the x's cancels. This stays. This x stays. And then I reduce this by dividing by 7. So I would get just x in the top for this part. And then 2x plus 1 in parentheses. And then... 3 in the bottom, x not equal to 0. Even though if I plug in 0 here, I don't have a problem, but this should be have the same restrictions as the original, and I'm not allowed to plug in 0 in the original.